国际知名的柏林影展刚刚在周末落幕。红毯上众所瞩目的焦点是曾经获得奥斯卡奖的美国女演员 Natalie Portman。来到柏林影展是为了参与她所监制的纪录片《第七把火》的首映会。内容透过一位美国原住民族 Ojibwe 族黑帮领袖的眼睛，去检视暴力和毒品对一个远在明尼苏达州偏僻的 Ojibwe 族保留区的影响。身为监制的 Natalie 透过这部影片。对美国原住民族有了更深刻的认识。I was so、um, amazed to learn about、uh, what's happening in some native communities in our own country, and I feel that we're woefully、um, underserved with, with the stories of our native communities, and there's such an incredible history and such an incredible culture, many incredible cultures,、um, and obviously many are suffering. From From years of、um, having been really excluded from、um, and and、uh, you know colonialized, per,、uh, really. So、um, it's it's really、uh, a, an amazing portrait of several of these members of the community that tells a lot about、um, a lot about their their culture and and also about the the struggles that they're dealing with. This is. Pine Point Village is a White Earth Indian reservation. It's called Pine Point. I've seen so many lives, young lives, just ruined here because it would be hard for them to go out into the real world. And this is where they they, they were raised up here and everything. And they only learn from what others do. <laughs> so with Kevin, I do the best I can with him because there's a few of them that did make it. Just one out of.、Uh, Ten every ten years, we'll make it out here.、Um, I was I was really I, I was not really involved in the、um, creation of the movie. I'm more involved in trying to spread the word about it.、Um, Jack Riccobono directed it, who's amazing and spent four years with these Ojibwe members. So it's it's an impressive,、uh, really really beautiful film.这部七十八分钟长的纪录片，记录一位想要金盆洗手回到部落的黑帮领袖，以及他十七岁的门徒，也是保留区中最主要的贩毒者的故事，呈现美国原住民族保留区鲜为人知的另一种样貌。And it just keeps getting deeper. Consequences just keep getting more severe. Village of the White Earth Indian Reservation. It's called Pine Point. Reporter Du He, Lin Bo Hong, Bianyi.